experiment number three, uh, which is actually five into multiplex seven segment common cathode. Five uh, x uh, five cross means that there are actually seven uh, segments which are five in number. Uh, CR, please, anyone confirm in the conversation window that my voice can be heard. Uh, I will come to this experiment a little later. Today, uh, I want to actually discuss some of the issues, uh, some of the problems which I have seen in your assignments. First of all, uh, assignment number one was very simple. Uh, I have not fully checked it because it was just a simple one. And uh, as far as uh, the rest of uh, assignment number two is concerned, I have checked almost uh, half of them. The half of the marks will, will be uploaded by tomorrow. So don't worry on the, those uh, students whose roll numbers are not there. I guess from 110 to the end, they are not there. So certainly they will be checked on uh, in by today evening, maybe by tomorrow. So hopefully that will be uploaded. So don't worry on that one. I, I have given you the remarks over there in that uh, overall. So those remarks are actually very, very important. Now, I am opening that file over here. I, I have given you that file. I, I will upload that one on MS Teams also. Those who are in yellow colors, they have actually uh, submitted it late. The tagline is 15th uh, March has been updated over there. So certainly this means that uh, uh, there will be a deduction of marks. Um, in the few past, I have been making this deduction equal to something, uh, two marks. Uh, but since this is going to be your first time late submissions and all that, so maybe one mark submission will be definitely be there. But in future, it will be definitely two. So please adhere to the deadlines which have been given to you. <coughs> uh, please, uh, those who are actually coming late, uh, I don't know why you are not admitted. Uh, CRs, please ask all those students who are actually coming on and they are not added to this class somehow and then I have to admit them in the class. Please uh, uh, make them uh, ask me to actually ask Sarumar Shahid or me so that they can be added. But I don't know, I think so there is a problem of your fees or something like that. So if it has been resolved, please ask to be added over there. Uh, beta 81, don't worry on that part. I just told you that uh, uh, almost uh, the assignments which have been checked, let me just confirm it for you also. Uh, you are saying for row number 81, uh, let me just check, okay, this is checked, row number 81, but there is no assignment of row number 81 with me in the checked, uh, let me just check through the, uh, sorry beta, I can't find out any assignment with row number 81 there. I've just downloaded this yesterday, last night. So even if it was late, it's still not there. Uh, if Sir Bilal is here, please uh, kindly uh, adhere to this uh, student's concerns. If you have uploaded it, it should be with me. So over here. Okay, coming on to, since I want to discuss some problems over here. And uh, these are all the assignments over here. So uh, rule number 81, I, since I'm sharing this screen with you, I guess, these are all the unchecked assignments at present, so I will check them hopefully. And these are the checked ones over here, you can see. Uh, I don't know roll number 177, if you are here in the class, I don't know why you have submitted experiment number one uh, as experiment number two or something like that. But, uh, and please uh, from in future, please stop uh, uh, submitting three or four different files. I am taking the last added file. I'm not checking the previous one, but please don't do this because I'm marking their roll number. So if in the future, if you do this, uh, uh, I will certainly be deducting some marks. So don't submit three or four different variants of the same file. I have taken the last updated file over here, but still uh, it's going to be a problem if uh, you submit it again. Uh, and uh, there have been this roll number also, roll number 23, you have submitted me the PCB doc file also and some HTML file also. So I guess there is some issue when you are submitting it. Please don't do that. Uh, okay, I will select just haphazardly or maybe not haphazardly. I, I want to actually go on with uh, uh, some students 
uh, specially I want to discuss there over here. For example, uh, let's just discuss with uh, Muhammad Hamza, for number 13. Uh, his marks are 9, so I'm just taking it as something, a better assignment. Okay, uh, one thing very important, as you can see if I'm clicking this, now this is going to be today, I'm going to mostly talk about on LTM. So please, uh, <clears throat> this is being recorded, so hopefully you will can see it afterwards also. But uh, still, uh, I will try that uh, mostly I do all the experiment. Now, you can see in this assignment, the size of the PCB is very good, N uh, not that big, so it's quite good. Fill areas is one region uh, which is not good, you can see if I can zoom in over there. Uh, still this fill area is okay, but this is passing through under the capacitor. Now under the capacitor, maybe at this level, it's not going to be opposing a big problem, but uh, as you can see, if I can zoom in over there, you can see the distance between this square pad and this one is very, very small. So when you are actually going to make it practically, it's going to be a big issue. So this should be avoided. So over here, this VCC is coming over there, but from here, the 5 volt line which is going over here to this pin and certainly to pin number 3 and 4 and then certainly it is going to all other uh, uh, dip switches over here there is no fill area certainly there should be a fill area from to VCC at least because from VCC all these A, B, C, D, E, F, G are going to be supplied to this 7 segment so this should be a fill area or at least not a fill area at least the thickness of this track which I am saying over here, it should be at least 1.5, at least minimum 1.5, should be something 1.5 to 3 mm. So actually you can use a fill area or you want to increase the track length, it's totally up to you. So overall uh, I have only deducted one marks for this student, so overall it's good. But still you can see a lot amount of vacant spaces over here. This is a very big vacant space, this much is a very vacant space over there. This is a single layer PCB, so okay, no, no issues. But when we will go on towards the two layer PCB as uh, today's class progresses, you will see that uh, this is going to be an, uh, not an issue. And over here also you can see, if I just zoom in over there, you can see an orthogonal uh, 90 degree. Overall, I have also cleared over there that 90 degrees are not a big problem, at least at this frequency at which you are working or the signals. But when you go to ultra high frequencies, this will be posing a problem over there. Uh, those who are coming late in the class, please. Uh, uh, beta, all these issues which you are actually talking on me that you have submitted me, you can see the file name which I have over here. These are all the check file names. Okay, row number six over here. You can see over here, uh, those who are actually asking the question, please ask Mr. Sir Bilal on this one because the timestamp which is over here, you can see for March 15, it is 12, 11. So this means that 15th March has actually been struck over there. So Monday has been there up till Sunday, 12 a.m. at 12 p.m. actually, at 12 a.m. at night was the time. So you can see here 15, here is also row number 16 you have and those one who have actually submitted on 14 and then 15, I have only taken the 14th March file. So I have not deducted or made them yellow color. Uh, I don't know what issue you are actually talking about over here. I don't know your roll number. Let me just have a look. Uh, roll number 81. Uh, I don't know you have some issue. Maybe you have not submitted it or whatever or you have not submitted it according to the uh, select box over there so please ask sir bilal on this one he will uh, answer you on this one uh, roll number four you have someone else name is written how is that possible beta uh, maybe then what you have done maybe you have submitted someone else let me just check roll number four okay roll number four your pcb is uh, rashid rahman you can see uh, what is written over here rashid rahman this is your PCB you have submitted 2020 4 Rashid Rahman and uh, what you have done, you can see what you have done, you have selected row number 4 but your row number is row number 14. So you have done a big issue over here. Uh, I don't know how this can be, you have done it yourself. Beta please row number 81 don't uh, message over here, uh, ask Sir Bilal individually then he can answer you what you are beta your number is four but you have submitted 
roll number 14 file. I don't know how you have done that or what has been done. Maybe this was roll number 14 file. This one was your roll number 4 file. So maybe yes, okay. Maybe like this has happened. Roll number 14, whoever he is, I guess Rachid Rahman. <clears throat> you have also not written your name and all that. So please kindly message me after this class. I will correct this one. But roll number 14, he has done this mistake actually. Sorry on your part. It's actually roll number 14 mistake who has actually selected roll number 4 and submitted that assignment. I will correct it. Don't worry on that part. Overall your PCB is good but you have not named your name and roll number over here. And one thing very important in any of the assignments to follow on or even this assignment experiment number two has to be written don't write the full name it takes a huge amount of space over there so no need to write down the full name of that experiment experiment number two uh, maybe 2020 session you can just write over there and that is enough and uh, this is because when you are actually going to make this pcb physically so these names are actually going to be printed on that pcb so you don't actually mix your PCBs with anyone else. <clears throat> so row number four, uh, I will correct this mistake later on. So don't worry. Overall, your PCB seems good. Nah, that's not a big issue over here. You have a fill area as such also. Uh, I guess, uh, okay, yeah, you can be given nine marks, I guess. No issues on that one, I guess. Size is very good, 60 cross 60. So I guess, uh, uh, I don't know your name even. You have not written it over here, so certainly. Anyway, uh, let me just select any someone else uh, also. Uh, okay, roll number 25, what do you have done? I don't know you are here or not, roll number 25. Uh, if I open your assignment over here, <coughs> you have submitted your previous file. So maybe either uh, you thought your teacher is dumb and he is only just going to see your file that has been submitted and give you some marks or Maybe there was a mistake by you or submitting or something because this is experiment number one you have submitted. So that's why I have given you zero. Uh, uh, let me just check roll number 26. And uh, if I open roll number 26 here in front of you. Now, Arbaam uh, if you are here, please kindly see this. Uh, the margins or the keep out there. Can't you make this one very sharp over there? You have wasted a lot amount of space plus can't this resistance over here, which is base over here, be taken up and this transistor also taken in this area, this transistor taken in this area, and all of this can be easily be concluded approximately in this much side. This much uh, circle, uh, square or rectangle I have actually made. You can easily do this one in this much area. And secondly, one thing very important, all of you, uh, many of you have done this mistake. When you are having your name written, Arbaab Hussain or something, Please make that one in the layer on which you are actually working. So it should be Arba Hussain uh, in top layer, sorry, in bottom layer. And the height of this should be approximately 2 mm if you have space. Otherwise, uh, that can be okay. And also this one, your roll number also in top layer. So three, th sorry, in bottom layer. So these are two things. And third, secondly, very important, please also write your experiment. Because that expert, you are going to make like three or four PCBs over here. So this will be difficult for you to actually uh, find out which one is your PCB and which one is someone else. So it will be difficult for me also. And all these will be submitted when you are like, actually going to come on campus and all that stuff. Secondly, Arba Hussain, you have also done, if you can see over here, uh, in the 74SC4511, this track over here, which is going towards the ground, this is very, very close to your pins. There is space over here. You can select this and make this on the other side. And this is okay. In fact, I have made it a little bit more so I can just make it like this one and it's adequate. And I can leave space for this one and for this track also. So there is some ample space over there. So I have done, uh, you can see what I'm doing over here. I shared uh, Tamur's PCB which he submitted and the edited which I did over there. So I hope you can learn from that. And this session which I'm doing here in front of you so that you know that how you can actually do this thing. And one thing very important, if I click on uh, whenever you have this one, please kindly make all the whole sizes equal to 0.7. Okay, uh, this will be problematic when you are actually going to print this one and you are going to physically make this one in the lab. 
So maybe all the holes have to be 0.7. Uh, bigger size holes are not an issue because you already have to drill through it. But when it is actually printed on it, so bigger holes are actually going to be having less ink on the sides. It's actually a property of your laser printer. So it's difficult. Secondly, uh, one more problem over here, as you can see in base 2 resistance over there. What was the reason of actually making it bended? Bend always has a problem when you are actually going to so make it in straight line over here like uh, this one and certainly you can make that one also straight if there is not any issue on the other side so uh, and again this is an orthogonal so you can actually uh, actually this is going to create a problem over here so this is the again so this tracks like this so avoid uh, unnecessary bends similarly over here as you can see over here in this uh, uh, straight lines. Now why they are not straight? Because you never place this in straight alignment. If it was straight, it would have been easy for you to make it straight like this. So please avoid the zigzags of tracks whenever you are having this one over here. So when you can have this in straight line. So avoid these ones over here. So this is a box PCB and uh, he has done all these problems over here. He has taken a lot amount. And one thing very important you can see over here, you have an ample amount of space over here on this side. So can't you take this track over there? Even if computer has given it auto routed, because when you are going to make it physically, this is going to pose a problem for you. So it will be better if you keep them very far apart. So that, and I told you previously also in the last lecture also, Please try to make the tracks from each pad go in straight line and then bend. Don't make them bend it from the real one. Just like this one, as you can see this track of G over here, this is not going in a straight line. Please make them in a straight line in an ample amount of space. Avoid this orthogonal edges over there. One thing more over there, as you make them 90 degrees, when this whole PCB goes inside a ferric chloride solution, so uh, since this is actually a ridge like structure over there so what happens the chemical actually can eat that 90 degree bend easily so avoid that uh, bends over there like this so again you can see th this zigzag is actually uh, not avoidable again over here you can see this bend over there so kindly make it in straight so this is your above pcb so let me just take one or two more uh, assignments from over here uh, uh, row number 31 actually, uh, this is also one big problem uh, who has been done by a lot of students. Now over here the PCB seems okay, but fill areas are not used and wrong footprint. Sayyad Ali Naki Nakvi, if you are listening me, please uh, uh, correct this seven segment. This is not the correct seven segment which we asked. You can see this is 28 cross 22 mm common anode. I didn't ask for it. My was very different from it. Uh, if I can show you from someone else one, this one was LED dip dash 10 slash 14.27 RHD and the row spacing was 15.24 which was the standard dip. So you have done this mistake and this mistake has been done by a quite a lot of students. So please avoid it. Overall your PCB seems okay. You have not used a fill area a lot. So fill area, are one thing very important again over here, if you have attached this one with the input over there, why not the ground? Because current has to travel towards this and then it has to come back down. So why not this ground also as a fill area? And one thing very important, whenever you make a fill area, just see this one, whenever you make a fill area and now you want to make it a little slanted. Now that can be very easily made, let just see it make a small rectangle and over here when you bring the mouse over there and press it and rotate it you can rotate any of the fill area at any angle or you can select this one go on your uh, uh, add it over here and you can move it by whatever angle you want to move it you want to rotate it you want to flip it or whatever you want to do it you can do that according to whatever edit command over here. Uh, actually, my recording is actually being done, so I'm not showing it over there. Otherwise, you can manually do it with your mouse over here. And now you can place a very simple fill area, which is going to be like this. So you can see now what I have done over here. The fill area is also covering VCC and it is also covering ground. And again, you have space over there. So why not take it straight like this? 
plus you have to take the ground towards now where is the ground actually coming on the ground has to actually go on towards the transistor ground because there actually from here to the it's not connected and one thing you have used actually base over here it's actually collector over here and from here this emitter is actually going to be ground so this track from ground to this emitter this should be a fill area because why because all of the segment currents is actually going to flow through this one and again you have done this mistake of actually not making it straight avoid this one straight the software is actually going to give you a schema that how you can actually route it but afterwards you have to correct it which is your duty so kindly please do this uh, corrections uh, whenever you are actually submitting your assignment so this is uh, the uh, roll number 31 and uh, let me just take someone a little in section b i guess uh, maybe okay let's take uh, i guess roll number 61 um, roll number 61 abdullah asad i hope so now you have done uh, wrong track size I guess this is your fourth, third lecture on LTM. In the first one, it was just simple. And if you just click on any of these tracks over there, you have the track equal to 0.254. And I have told you previously also, this track size, you have to change it by going in your rule section and change it to 0.6 or 0.7. And this was your minimum. The preferred size was 0.7 mm and the maximum width, you can keep it 0.8. So those of you who have not even bothered, there are a lot of people who are at four or five marks. And so this is a very big issue. And here you have just submitted the assignment without anything. Traditionally, I never give any marks to such kind of thing because you just enabled the nets and you have just uh, rerouted it and it, it has also some problem. You can see the wires are crisscrossing over here. I don't know how this is crisscrossing over there. The inputs are not carefully, but still I have given you five marks. Please correct it those students who are at five or below five please correct your mistakes all of them should also correct it whatever mistakes i have included but those who are five or less than five please correct them uh, we will give you a link for resubmission so that when you actually physically make this pcb that is without any errors please remember if you don't correct this mistakes this pcb will be made by you uh, when you actually physically come to the university so uh, this track is an issue over here there are no fill areas and there are so many vacant spaces over here so please uh, roll number 61 uh, abdullah asad please kindly avoid this and when you submit an assignment again please don't do this mistake uh, but these are uh, roll number 139 if you have asked me i will just show you also I, I will just go on the camera also today and i will show you I have the PCB for today's experiment made by me already. I have not uh, coated it with the solder mask over there. So I will just show you that one also. Uh, you can change uh, uh, PCB one marks will be uploaded a little late beta because I gave preference to assignment number two because in assignment number one you had uh, almost copied my design. So it was almost uh, nothing different for any of you so i have done this one okay uh, roll number seven i guess you are asking let me just open your assignment also uh, roll number seven okay uh, better fill areas are not consistent now one thing very important whenever you have a something like structure like this and i guess uh, i have showed in the whatsapp group also some images also and also in this ms teams where this yellow color uh, components which are actually on the top layer which are called as top overlay now these components can be totally you know lit from here just click on this one please see this where mouse is at present click on this one and click signal layers now what has happened the practical pcb which is going to be printed on a, a pcb sheet or maybe i have shown you the uh, video also for how then you can do it at your homes. Now, what you have done, beta over here, uh, I guess roll number six, the PCB is this. Uh, uh, I guess I have written wrong name. Oh, sorry, it's roll number seven, sorry, Habiba. Uh, you, have, you can see over here what you have done. Uh, you have taken the zigzag steps over there. Now, there was no need of actually making this zigzag step. Let me just correct it here in front of you. Just take this out. 
this one up till here and this one is here and select it and use this one and tilt it now what is happening uh, I have to actually reduce this uh, this is going to be like this and like this so and you have actually made uh, tracks a lot everywhere so no, no need of these tracks actually when you have all of uh, in fact let me just also delete it plus you can uh, make this one also in turn like this actually you don't have much spacing over there you can see you don't have much space so either you have to make this a little bit up if it is possible by whatever that uh, there it is plus then you have to actually extend this one and connect it ground so your problem in this PCB you have made this as a zigzag steps over there uh, avoid the zigzag steps I will come at some later point when we will be making a multi-layer PCB maybe a four layer or a five layer PCB then I will tell you the positives or negatives of actually having the zigzags and all that but at present you can see what you have done you have added so much fill layers over there and you can see over there from this five volt again now current is huge supposedly if current is huge here 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 the resistance is small because the area of contact is small then again it's huge then it's again small and then it is contact with this pad again it's small and then again it should be uniform if you have taken some thickness of it slant it and increase the thickness over there again you have made those zigzag tracks over there again you can see this is some uh, I guess male header over there so you have not uh, made it uh, uh, you can make it in straight lines so it's not a big issue you can do it very carefully and uh, like this so not an issue secondly uh, you have not left much space also this 5 volt and VCC they are so close to each other so if I am going to print it by maybe a 600 dpi HP printer so what is going to happen maybe there is going to be a small dot or between them and there is going to be a short circuit or maybe my etching does not go very well the solution is not that good so what will happen that there is going to be a problem over there and there is going to be a short circuit so please kindly avoid it and avoid non-uniform now you can see over there you have added a fill area but this fill area ends over here and it's not there so if you have added a fill area kindly make this fill area uniform up till the top and similarly if there is a fill area over here so kindly make it equal in width if there is space certainly if there is space kindly make it equal in width to your previous one like this still it's not fully uh, complete so I guess I have to zoom in actually here actually comes that grid uh, connection which uh, uh, grid snapping no no it's okay so in this way you have to make it uniform again you can see what you have done over here your uh, fill area here is uh, uh, this a simple track and you have not extended this one over here like this so please kindly avoid it again if there was a zigzag you don't have space so kindly make that zigzag a bit larger so that it's not because wavy like structure is not easy for the printer to actually print also because we don't have some industrial printers over here again you have done this mistake of uh, not taking the track in straight lines over here so this is one issue over here which you are seeing and uh, overall your PCB is good but as far as fill area is concerned you have done a lot of mistakes and size is very good I have actually appreciated it and secondly yes one thing very important you have used a wrong footprint let me enable that enable all layers your footprint is wrong okay your footprint is wrong and you have used a wrong footprint again you have used that 28 cross 22 I guess I don't know maybe you are friends or whatever so you have used the wrong one over there uh, your name and all that is okay no issues with that one Habiba uh, number uh, you should write experiment number two whatever that name is so this is done and uh, I hope uh, let me just take one more assignment maybe at the end of the roll numbers maybe let me just check 101 okay 101 Nimra Javed uh, your PCB again uh, uh, again vacant spaces here you can avoid that very carefully very easily uh, and you are actually again having this slanting lines now whenever you are actually having a little bit crowded PCB and you can't actually see those lines easy way click on this click on signal layers what will happen now you can see very easily that your tracks are very very close you can easily make this one a little far you can make this one equal over here 
you are not even using it uh, carefully uh, so you can make it now you can see they are a little bit now equidistant so now even if I'm going to print it and when it is going to go in a chemical solution it's not going to give up any big problem so your problem uh, 101 is this that you have tracks very very close to each other and again you can see what we have done over here this track is going like this over here you have to correct it please remember the software auto routing only gives a solution that it is possible either you follow it or not you have to correct it so you see you have actually selected a little uh, deviated one so over here and let me just see uh, in fact let me so you can use a track over here and in fact this is top layer I have to use bottom layer so so you can see now it's almost straight like this so in fact I can make it more far if I want to have if I have space so again uh, please avoid this haphazard tracks and all that again uh, fill area is never used over here fill area is a very uh, big thing uh, maybe not for this PCB this PCB can work but today's experiment the circuit diagram which I have given you uh, that is actually going to be uh, very important as far as the fill area and I have specifically mentioned on that one also that please use that uh, at far from this one uh, one thing very important if you double click this one uh, you can see all the layers which are actually enabled over there you have mechanical 1 mechanical 13 15 these are actually all those layers which are physically the part of that PCB when you place a component that pink color is actually the mechanical one so it's actually that common cathode or common anode 7 segment over there and if you want to enable the keep out layer also you can enable that uh, we will come to drill drawing and all these ones when I will be actually showing you a PCB otherwise if you just want to enable everything you can just click on this one click all layers and all the components can be done please uh, from now on everyone please add your name roll number and your experiment number over there so that we have an idea over there now you can see over here again I'm just pointing out uh, you have a lot amount of space here so make it equidistant why not so make it like this you can even drag this one a little down and just seems okay but again you can take it straight like this and uh, maybe like this and then you have if has space over there so this can be done very carefully so you can see now they are equidistant over there so this seems better and when this is going to go inside a solution of uh, chemical which is actually FeCl3 uh, this will be better and you have uh, not you have some problems also yes 101 you have some problems you have not connected the dip switch to 5 volts over here you have connected this one over here with 5 volt but the second pin is not connected to 5 volt so there is some issue over there I maybe I have also uh, written uh, in the remarks of problems over there uh, three four PCBs have been very good uh, I don't know Tamur has not submitted his PCB or whatever now so please correct this one uh, tracks are very close please correct this one use or maybe a fill layer over here Achha, one thing very important uh, when you use a fill layer now since uh, we are talking about LTM before going on towards the experiment when you use a fill layer like this there is always a violation why because that pad has not been given 5 volts so what you will do you want to find out what's the violation so please right click on that one go on violations and see what is the first violation is short circuit constraint between pad on multi layer multi layer because it's a hole it's a pad which is also going on the top layer also on the bottom layer it's actually a drilled hole so that's why it is a pad and it's a short circuit constraint because it's not given the net name so that's why it's a big problem secondly there is a clearance constraint because you have given a clearance over there so easy way solution double click on the pad click on nets give it 5 volts just like do it and it's removed so kindly whenever you have a violation please clear it whenever you have uh, to remove that violation over there on your PCB and please use fill area especially VCC and the ground path you uh, that's why I actually show you the understanding of each circuit so that you have an idea so that see that over there okay coming on to the uh, today's experiment what we have to do now as you can see over here 
दिस इज अव एक्स मल्टीप्लेक्स वट डज मल्टीप्लेक्स मीन मल्टीप्लेक्स मीन्स इफ यू रिमेंबर योर सेकेंड एक्सपेरिमेंट ओवर देयर लेट मी जस्ट गो ऑन टू दैट वन ऑल्सो आई हैव दिस सेकेंड एक्सपेरिमेंट ओवर देयर इट वॉज अ सिंगल डिजिट यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले समथिंग ऑन इट यू हैड फोर बिट डाटा दैट वॉज बाइंड्री and here on a single digit uh, to control it you had some transistor over there the lower transistor over there and then there was an upper transistor which was actually controlling the dp for for time being just assume the dp is not actually our concern because for a single digit maybe dp is not going to be displayed because it has not three or four digits over there so for single digit uh, you require one ic that is 74sc4511 and you require four bits of data that is actually and then one pin to actually enable it or maybe you have enabled it permanently on maybe you have given already five volts over there or the transistor is or not there so you mean to actually display one digit over there so if you want to display like supposedly five digits this mean that you will require five ics and each ic is going to be connected separately to each digit now this is a huge overload on the cost of your circuitry now where are these used you can display any voltage whatever you are measuring maybe a dc volt meter maybe an ac volt meter or something like that so using so many ics for five supposedly you have to digit supposedly display a five digit number so if you want to display a five digit number you will require five of these ics and five cross 4 20 bits of data now this is a huge overload on the microcontroller and also on the cost of your pcb and certainly the size of it so here actually comes the word multiplexed now here the advantage which we are actually taking is this that the human eye because humans have actually to see this uh, display humans have been found that they can easily detect now listen this very carefully i am giving you the latest research from uh, mit institute they have done it that uh, mit has found that the human brain can process entire images that the eye sees for as little as 13 millisecond which means this that now see this very carefully if i display for the first 13 milliseconds this is the minimum value so let's supposedly i make it 13 milliseconds maybe for a very better human being which is fit and has a very good eyesight so maybe let's make it 20 millisecond so what happens 20 millisecond for 20 millisecond i display one on the first digit for 20 milliseconds i display two on the second digit and meanwhile when i am displaying two on this one the first digit is off theek okay? hai then on the third digit i display 3 and the fourth digit i display 4 and subsequently i display 5 now since at any one given time i am only making on one seven segment theek okay? hai so for 20 milliseconds first one <coughs> sorry so 20 milliseconds i am turning on the first digit then from 20 to 40 milliseconds i am turning on the second digit from 40 to 60 milliseconds i am turning on the third digit and then from 60 to 80 i am turning on the fourth and from 80 to 100 milliseconds i am turning on the fifth so this means in 100 milliseconds i can display from 1 2 3 4 5 digits the data and then i will repeat the same process i will go back on the one digit and i will display again one then for second digit two now the human eye if this process is going to be repeated very fastly the human eye is actually going to see this not as individually turning on it will see 1 2 3 4 5 displayed on the five digit meter which is being built today i'm again repeating human eye can have a persistence of approximately 10 to 11 milliseconds so if i can complete the display in that time the all five digits over there i can show a human being all five digits turn on at the same time but in practically what i will be doing 
I will be turning on the first digit for maybe for some milliseconds, then the second digit for some millisecond, the third digit for some millisecond. So the human eye is actually going and so on and certainly. So the human eye is actually going to see it as something that all the displays are actually working because that image is on your eye retina and it stays there for some time. So you can actually find that all the five digits are actually working simultaneously. But in practically what you are doing, you are using one IC. That one IC is giving the data to all of these ones. As you can see, the diagram is quite self-explanatory. I guess I don't need to explain that. The only thing that I need to explain over here that what does multiplexing means over here. Here multiplexing means that all the five, seven segments over here are connected to one and only one IC which is 74HC4511. So now when this is working as one IC, the only thing that I have to control is this, that I have to turn on the common cathode pin once for one segment. Now in your previous experiment, if I go on your experiment number two, to turn on this one, if you remember I told you that there is going to be a control added over there and many of you asked there at present that why we are using a control over there and I told you that sometimes you need to turn off and sometimes you need to have a master control to turn on and turn off. So here, in instead of using a transistor because transistor you have to connect it three pins then you have a resistor you have to add a base resistor then you have to add a male header and all that stuff here in this experiment number three i am introducing another ic which is uln2803 now uln2803 you can go on its data sheet yourself i have given the picture diagram over there i'm leaving that data sheet reading to you it's again a dip package. The only difference with 74SC4511 is this, that this is an 18 pin package. Now when this is an 18 pin package, you can see over there, if I zoom in over there, what this IC is doing. I hope everyone knows what is a NOT gate and what is the symbol. Now what happens over here, uh, the pin number one to pin number eight, they are the inputs. Pin number one to pin number eight, they are the inputs. And if you give at pin number one to pin number eight, any of the pins, a five volt logic, a five volt logic, what happens? There is a NOT gate inside it. So what happens that five volt converts to zero and a zero at this point means that from this first seven segment, the current is going to come out from that common cathode, come in this 18th pin and through this diode, it's going to go towards the ground, internal circuitry, which is not shown over here in this diagram. And if any of you are interested, you can go towards the data sheet and the circuit diagram is there. Just for now, you can see these are eight bit switches. Previously, what we were using, if you remember your first experiment, we were using a dip switch. And I told you at that time, that it cannot handle more than 10 milliampere of current and 10 milliampere of current is a very small current. Now when you are actually turning on one seventh segment, the supposing you are displaying eight and each segment is having approximately eight milliampere of current or maybe 10 milliampere. So 10 multiplied by seven, 70 milliampere of current, the dip switch will be burned. So here, ULN2803 IC is used, which is again a dip package, dual inline package. The library is going to be the very same, ULN2803, and it's going to be 18 pin. If you remember 74SC4511, it was 16 pin. This one is 18 pin, so there is no change. You have only used to use 18 pin IC over here. The library is the very same, dual inline package. So here, what you are doing, since you are using five, seven segments, over here and they have to be joined together. I will come to the uh, LTM design just now and I will show you how you are actually going to do that. But here, their common cathode points are connected to the first one. This is connected to the second, seven segment is connected to the second digit. The third seven segment is connected to the third switch over here. Now this ULN2803 can handle very easily 100 milliampere of current inside it. We have some transistors inside it. You just need to give a 5 volt signal over there and it will sync the current. Again, please use this IC is syncing the current. Just like 
in experiment number two this transistor was sinking the current from the common cathode to the ground it was providing a path to the ground here similarly in experiment number three the same is being done the ground so one thing very important because all of these seven segments are actually going to be sinking the current through this IC to the ground so this pin which is connected to ground pin number nine of this please connect it to the ground of your circuitry in a good fill area this is very important and I have written over here I hope so you can read this one very easily tracks such as VCC from regulator output to 74HC4511 why VCC from regulator output because when this is going to be connected with this IC this IC is going to signify the current or give the current from F, G, A, B, C, D, E and this is going to be provided to any one of these seven segments not all of them why because at one given time only one is going to be turned on okay this is very important so only one is going to be turned on and this dip switch which I've added over here is only there so that you can test the circuit practically this dip switch you cannot display one here two here three here four here and five here reason because you are giving data over there you have to change the data when you turn on second switch and that has to be done with a very fast rate I told you the time in millisecond so that time can only be possible you can't do it by manual hand so that has to be done by the microcontroller so I have written over there please do these two paths they should be made thicker either use the tracks in thicker size from 1.5 to 3 mm or make it in something uh, a fill area approximately to the same size so that you can actually have the uh, current flowing over there so I hope this is very clear and there is only going to be one transistor added for the DP just like experiment number two if you remember for experiment number two for DP that was data point you added a transistor just like the same over here 5 volt can be given over here and the current is going to flow over there so you when you want to display supposedly you want to display some VAPDA voltage I don't know how many of you have an idea that at your homes you are approximately having 230 volts over there so maybe you are making this uh, meter which can display so you want to display the value of the VAPDA voltage coming at your homes to two significant digits after the decimal so you need to write down supposedly 230 point supposedly 50 that is the voltage coming so that's why I have, read, have five digits over there so five digits 230.50 so you can see then you are going to actually turn on the third digit which means two here three here zero here so when you are going to have the dot turned on so when the third digit is going to be turned on this five volt is going to be given to this male header pin okay we will come to this one when you have actually practically made this PCB and I will show you practically in fact maybe in this next two three days I will complete my PCB which I have already made I have an edge state and I have already it over there I will show you on the camera just now so this is your uh, circuit diagram the rest things remains the same nothing fancy the power supply is the very same the LED is the very same the capacitor is the very same and one thing when you are actually going to design this PCB now here is actually going to be the challenging task especially for those uh, who have still not uh, done uh, a very good work in your experiment number two also uh, you have to make the single sided now uh, when you want to make it single sided I will just show you also here today that when you are going to make it single sided it's practically not possible but we will make it possible by using some jumpers okay and I will show you my design also and I will show you if you try to make this PCB in two layers okay so let me just see if there are any questions I hope Bilal is there uh, don't worry the recording is being done I it's still going on just hope that there is no uh, my uh, UPS is still working so hopefully recording is being done over there uh, okay any questions up till now so I can go on the LTM and uh, uh, let me just close on these uh, uh, assignments over here those assignments who which are remaining uh, please uh, 
I will check them most probably by tomorrow, maybe not today because uh, after speaking this much, uh, maybe I am not going to be able to check all the assignments, but at least I will try to do them by tomorrow. And uh, those who have five or four marks, please kindly uh, do this, repair your PCBs or whatever so that you have an idea over here. Okay, now. Uh, what I have done over here, as you can see uh, over here, uh, let me just actually make this a little, I hope, okay, actually, uh, my, okay, I hope everyone can have a look. Actually, I needed this view uh, tab over here. Okay, uh, one thing, whenever you have made a PCB and this is, uh, you, you want to actually uh, delete, uh, whatever you have done up till now, click go on tool, go on unroute and click all. What happens? Everything is gone. Now, as you can see, uh, I have named all the nets over there, one IC and that one IC is connected with that resistance over there and it's going towards that uh, seven segments, five. And please see very importantly, all these five are connected with each other. There is no spacing in between them. Why? Because if the digits are not connected with each other, you the readability is not going to be good. Okay? So this is very important that they are connected. And I have tried to actually submerge all the equipments over here inside this rectangular area. And first of all, I have had dip switches over here. I had this male header also. Everything is clear over there. Now I am first of all going to make this one in two layers. Okay? I am going to make it. For that purpose, I will go on design rules first. And you can see over here, I have done 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Up, at present, this is your nomenclature, at least up till your midterm. So we will stick on to this 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Your preferred size is 0 0.7 mm. And the next thing, very importantly, the clearance. Now here, I am introducing over here the clearance thing. Now, whenever there is a pad and a track or maybe two tracks closer to each other, you have to tell the software that how much distance you allow it. Now, if you will make it 0.35 mm, certainly the software will be problematic and it will decide on it, okay, I can't do that, it's difficult and it will take more time. But 0.3 mm is adequate. Under my experience, at least I think 0.3 mm for uh, newbies or uh, who are actually just immature at present, it's okay. 0.254 is also enough, which is by default in this software, but 0.3 can actually work. So just click OK and all this one. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the rest of them, maybe in some later experiments over there. I'll just save the file just in case. Now, one thing very important. I don't know how many of you have uh, experienced it, but if you will click on auto route and auto route all of it and you have not saved your file, this can stuck also. This is very important because this is an algorithm. The software is an algorithm and this algorithm can stuck when you are actually doing it one layer. For two layers, it's not going to be an issue. For two layers, it's not going to be an issue, but still save it so that you have a practice every time. Click on auto route, click on all. Now, if you remember, uh, I told you in the very first uh, lecture or maybe the second one that you are not going to use the top layer. So I asked you to make it not used. So top layer automatic, bottom layer automatic, click OK. Now, available routing strategies. If you want to make 90 degree turns, click on this journal orthogonal, which I normally avoid, I have told you. You can go with default two layer board or default two layer board with edge connectors. We will just do the both at present just now and I will show you what is the difference in between. In fact, any one of you, please, uh, I will ask you, uh, we will just go with the first default two layer board and I will click on route all. Let's see how much time it takes. Uh, you can see it's two layer, it's not going to take much time and it's finished. You can see routing finished with zero contentions over here and failed to complete. So there is no error over there. So if I see now, you can see what has happened over here. It's almost inside an area uh, which is not more than this much. Uh, there is a little space over there and to avoid that little space, what you I could have done, I could have moved this one kilo ohm resistance is a little inside so that they were not. So my track was actually coming up till here. So maybe I can reduce it, but this is two layer. Please mind it, this is two layer. Now, what is the problem of two layer? 
two layer pcbs are approximately 2.5 times expensive yes certainly they are going to be uh, size small your pcbs are going to be uh, better looking aesthetically and all that stuff but for uh, two p layer pcbs you require components which can be soldered on both sides now let's talk about it if i have a resistor a resistor is actually i told you previously also that it has two legs you already have seen resistances up till now so it can be soldered from top layer and bottom layer no issues so resistors are not big thing but for seven segments as you all know if i go on this camera at present so i have this seven segment over there now when you want to actually solder this the only possible way is it that you can solder it on this side now when you can only solder on this side <coughs> i will tell you maybe i will make a small video and i will tell you a way so that instead of putting this one on your pcb you are going to put this one on a female header and that female header can be soldered from the bottom side of the pcb also and from the top side so that you have a connection with both why what i mean by that if i show you just now if i go on my you can see what has happened over here in fact let me just uh, clear all these uh, signal layers now what has happened these are all seven segments over there now the software has done that this pin is connected with top layer but the other pin is connected with the bottom layer so the software has actually utilized anything so it has so you have to devise a way so that you can actually solder your seven segment which is only solderable from the bottom side because pins are here but when you are going to place it on your pcb as soon i guess i told you i showed you this pcb also so when this pcb i, I guess this is your pcb so when i am going to actually have this pcb inserted in this like this this is your tamus pcb as i showed you the pictures also now this is a single layer this can't be soldered on a top layer but when i am going to make it two layer then what i will do instead of putting the seven segment over here inside this pcb i will actually when i will actually make this pcb it will have tracks on this side also just like the tracks which are over here on this side which is actually the green coating uh, sorry the, the red coating over here on this one is actually the solder mask over there so over here when i am going to have a two layer pcb in fact let me just bring out a two layer pcb for you uh i showed you actually last time also uh this was yes this was the two layer so this is a two layer pcb as you can see now now it is also seven segments over there as you can see over there so what has happened now when i am going to actually place this pcb over here like this seven segment in this hole this is a seven segment over there i can only solder it from this side as you can see though but if i open this one you can see there tracks over here which are connected with this one with the lower one over here so what i will do i will first of all attach a female header over here and that female header is going to be soldered on the top side also and on the bottom side also okay when we will do that soldering i will show you at that point but converting a seven segment into a two layer which is actually solderable on both sides is possible as far as the other ic's are concerned for example uh, if this ic i am talking about if you want to solder it over there because when you are going to insert it inside you can solder it from the other side also and you can solder it from this side also so that's not a big issue as far as transistors are concerned just like these ones you can solder them over here because their legs are long so you can solder them on here or you can solder them from here you can see the tracks over here on this pcb uh, and this is a very good made pcb it's a two layer and you can see the size of this pcb is not more than size of my palm this is a four digit or 4x multiplexed common anode here this is not common cathode this is a common anode over here it's a little different over there uh, i am doing the common uh, cathode with you at present and if i go back on your design over here supposedly the design we have done now whenever the software is actually going to give you this design you have to again edit it why as i told you that some of the tracks are very very close now you can see this top layer track is very close so i will have to actually make this one a little far from the back tab over there and certainly this one also i will have to try to make it and certainly all these tracks which are over here like this one now no need of actually making it very close because when you are going to solder it 
there is a chance that there is going to be a solder attached to this part and this part and your PCB gets shorted out. So it's better like this and like this and like this. Now if you only want to work at one given time only on the top layer or on the bottom layer, you can do that one also. Since you have selected over here signal layers, double click on this one. You have top layer, you have bottom layer. So if you want to just work on the bottom layer, uncheck this, click OK. So you have only now the top layer, as you can see. Now it's easy for you to actually edit it like this, make the tracks in straight line, just like as I have told you previously, so that they are in straight line coming out from the pads and then over here like this. So you can edit it yourself. Now. If I on all the signal layers and in fact let me make all the all layers. Now the software is not going to ask or do that width of each track over there. You have to do that manually which means since you have to make this one a uh, fill area. Now this fill area is going to be on you how you actually make it and this like this one. So you, that work you have to do it. Okay? All those tracks which you require them to be the two layers, or oh sorry, the sorry, the thickness, the fill, fill area is required. You need to do this one manually. The software has given you just edit it. You can see this is a very bad ridge. You can have make it like this, you can make it like this. It seems okay, very better made, and you can have this one similarly. You are going to have it over there. So this is your two layer PCB. You can add your keep out layer over here on this PCB and well and good to go. Now, I just told you just now that if I now unroute it, let me just unroute it. So all the nets have been taken off. Now I want to auto route it. You have to tell me if I now am going to use default two layer with edge connectors. Okay. Now, if I route it, let's see how much time it takes I guess it's not going to time is almost going to be the very same not that much difference and you can see it's almost same uh, now tell me is there any difference over there in fact uh, even if you can't find out the difference over there uh, I will leave that to you maybe in the next session I will ask you but there is a definite significant difference edge connectors mean something different and without edge connector is something different. So I will leave this anyone uh, anyone in the conversation window please ask uh, over here. Jeep, anyone can anyone tell me what is the difference between the two uh, topologies I selected just now for the two layer PCB. Okay, uh, I guess there are some uh, single sided beta, uh, 132 uh, single sided means that it's only bottom layer or maybe top layer, but normally it's uh, bottom layer. Single sided means only bottom layer is going to be used, top layer is not going to be used over there. Uh, 166, uh, the components which are not connected to anything remain, just certainly if you have not connected any nets over there, it's not going to connect with anything. And roll number 68, my announcement was related to those who have 5 or less than 5. Please edit your files on your own on the uh, mistakes which I have pointed. Even if I have not pointed any mistakes which you think is there, please correct it. And then I am going to uh, ask uh, maybe in some days, we will give you another link so that because and those of you who have like 6, 7, 8, 9, please correct your files because we are going to ask you to make these PCBs yourself or maybe we will ask you from a third party uh, company and maybe then you have to solder it and run it okay so those assignments does not mean the submission is done you have got two three whatever marks over there please correct them because these pcbs designs have to be made physically also uh, yes row number 81 edges are different but be very specific what you mean by edges are different uh, the field of i guess uh, uh, the connections of what I guess experiment number three connections are almost 80 percent the very same the only thing that I have added is the IC ULN 2803 and the same seven segment has been added 
four more times so they are now five seven segments over there uh, we will come back to this edge connectors question maybe in the next class over there if anyone has an answer take it as a bonus question uh, give me a detailed reply on this one in your conversation uh, private messaging over there if anyone can give an answer on this one a brief reply but covering all the aspects over there uh, we will give some bonus absolute marks to that student but kindly go through it and then because if you give a wrong answer then you uh, leave that uh, opportunity for others then okay now the problem over here is it that you don't have to make it two layers the problem is this that two layer pcbs as i told you they are very expensive so as i have told you that you can't make this one now let me just tell you this pcb uh, sorry okay sorry on this one Sorry, actually, uh, my mouse actually just got. Okay, as I told you, uh, this PCB, as you can see, it's a two layer PCB and it's approximately the size of my uh, palm. It's not that big. Uh, normally, when you go to Hall Road and try to get this PCB done uh, with this silk layer printing, which is actually that white printing, which is actually that yellow color in your software, which is actually called as the silk screen printing or actually called as a top overlay plus this green solder mask just like this i have done over here in red color that actually seems a little better i will show you most probably i will show you the next pcb in uh, maybe yellow color also in fact yellow color pcb masking i have already with me at present if any one of you is interested this is this yellow color pcb it's a single sided pcb as you can see not very good made actually it had some problems but again, it's a working piece, so you can see this is. So there are numerous solder masks. In fact, maybe after the midterm, I will show you how this solder masking is also done. I will tell you on this purpose also. Now, as I told you, this PCB, uh, if you go to Hall Road and try to make one piece of it, uh, maybe for this, this PCB, he's going to ask you 1,000 rupees. Uh, why? Uh, but if you try to make maybe like 20 pieces of this PCB, uh, it's not going to be that difficult. For him and maybe then per piece is not going to be more than 200 rupees because uh, to repeat that pcb it becomes easy the method is different but if you are going to make one pcb and then you have to spend all that uh, uh, material over there so it becomes very expensive so double sided pcbs are normally only done uh, when you are actually having a bulk supply to be done or bulk manufacturing has to be done but since yes you are students and you need to learn on this one so for the next experiment that will be experiment number four we will do the top layer and the bottom layer which is a double sided pcb for today uh, your task is this that experiment number three has to be done in single layer now when it has to be done in single layer uh, the pcb design is going to be uh, if i open your ltm over here uh, let me just open this now if you see this ltm over here i have made everything very very close to each other so now if i want to actually make this pcb uh, in fact let me just uh, okay actually this is 